Hello and welcome to the Dave Trumbo Show presented by Buffalo Wild Wings. I'm Greg Royce, joined by students and head women's volleyball coach Dave Trumbo. And coach, uh, since the last time we've chatted, um, your team's really kind of hit their stride as we come down the home stretch here uh, towards postseason. Yeah, Greg, I really couldn't be more pleased for our team. They've put in a lot of work. We've been through some tough times there early in the season, and they just seem like you know, this time of year, we always seem to play, start to play better. And that's always our goal, to play the best volleyball we can the end of October and putting together a nice little win streak against some, you know, actually the last three matches have against teams that have gone to the NCAA tournament in 2017. Yeah. So uh, we're real pleased with the results and the girls are feeling very confident. Yeah. Yeah. Talk about, you know, last few matches at home, you know, very solid wins at home, very hard fought matches. And Obviously, as you prepare for the postseason, those are the types of matches that you want to play in order to get mentally prepared, you know, for not only the conference tournament, but hopefully, you know, after that as well. Yeah, and, and as we increase our level and the level of our intensity and, you know, like our efficiency, we like we sided out Tuesday night at 70%. Yeah. Well, the statistics say if you can side out at 62%, we sided out 70 on yeah. Tuesday. We side out at 62%. We're going to win yeah. about 95 percent of the time we're going to win so we were real pleased with that you know it came our passing uh was amazing sarah riggan and katie leffridge and darian heilman just did a great job and you know, our setters were very efficient with the ball and our hitters getting the ball in position to be able to put the ball down yeah. uh and, and you know hitting 405 in the third set and yeah. <laughs> 343 in the in the first set so we're real pleased with that as well yeah What's been the big difference? Is it just more kids as they get more playing time, get more comfortable playing in their new roles, that everything's sort of clicking and coming together for you at this point? I think the whole team is getting better. Yeah. All 18 people. So practices are cleaner. Yeah. Uh, they're, they're just, the quality is better. Yeah. So when all 18 people are progressively getting better, then our practices are better and we take that confidence into the game. Yeah. Uh, and I think just people are feeling comfortable. I mean, I, I talk about Darian Heilman. I, you know, I really think she's probably, you'd call her the unsung hero of our team right. this year. She's grading out as our best server and she's, you know, as uh, our best passer. Uh, and now she's putting the ball down. Uh, so things that we had not known about her. Because right. <laughs> right. she really was uh, a backup the last two years. So I'm very happy for Darian and the way she's playing. Yeah, and you touched, you know, on Darian, but... Um Obviously, you look at any of the box scores lately, and they're just incredible balance. I think on Tuesday night, four four girls had eight kills, and uh, Katie had 12 or 13. Mm -hmm. So it's not like other teams can key on just one or two people. Like, there's five or six kids that can really hurt you at the net. Yeah, and, yeah, and that's because that we were talking about that on the way over. A lot of teams will have one or two kids that can't put the ball down, yeah. but we have them at all six positions. Yeah. And I think, uh, you know, another person to note is uh, freshman Kenzie Blevins. Yeah. She has really come on in the last uh, five to ten s matches where she's very dependable. She's putting up numbers on the board. She's setting up a good block. Yeah. And uh, so she's added that ingredient into our offense that we needed. And uh, and our setters have a lot of confidence in her. Yeah, um, let's kind of look ahead just a little bit. Next Thursday, uh, senior night uh, against Hood. You have two seniors this year, uh, Mariah and Chelsea. Uh, just talk a little bit about them and what they've meant to the program over their four years. Well, uh, I've known Mariah since she was in fifth grade. Yeah, uh, she went to Liberty Christian School. While I was a teacher. She walked in the door. I uh, had her in PE class and said, "We got to make her a volleyball player." <laughs> we saw how athletic she was. Yeah. So here we are. You know, over 12 years later, yeah. and a two-time honorable mention All-American, uh, closing in on 1,000 kills, yeah. uh, and you know, she just provides so much energy for our team, and she's playing very well now. Yeah. Uh, so, which makes her block better. Her, she's a little bit more confident, and so uh, she's really going to. I'm hoping that she ends her career on a high, um, a high uh, mark. And Chelsea uh, Ireland. Came in as a freshman, fought for that position, did not play a lot as a freshman. Sophomore year, won that job, and she's just getting better and better. You know, she hit 700 on Tuesday night, right. um, and she she is somebody that is always there. She's not up, she's not down. She's very consistent emotionally. She's very consistent, and she's always there for our setters making runs to the net. Uh, I couldn't be happier. A nursing major, another yeah. nursing major yeah. that we graduated, yeah. you know, and close to a 4.0 student. Uh, so you know, she, what a credit to how hard she's worked and, you know, two great seniors. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And obviously they've had a lot of success here and hoping for a little bit more. I do too. Yeah. 
All right. Well, for Dave Trumbo, I'm Greg Royce, and this has been the Dave Trumbo Show.